Today I'm going to show you how to uninstall Skype completely from your computer rather than just going to the control panel and using add and remove or programs and features to uninstall Skype for Windows desktop. Now the first step you're going to want to do, and this is the easiest way to get to the run window, is press the Windows key on your keyboard and R and it brings up run. Now the next thing you're going to want to type in there is percent app data percent backslash Skype and then click OK. Now if you have any pictures or anything like that that you want to back up you would uh, simply uh, right click it uh, the pictures folder click copy and then click paste and save it on your desktop and the next step you're going to want to do is again open the run window and type appwiz.cpl and click OK. Now you can scroll down to Skype and then you would right click it on Windows 7 on uh, Windows XP, you would just uh, simply highlight it by clicking it and then click remove or uninstall. And then you want to click uninstall. And it says, are you sure? And you just click yes. And as you can see, now Skype has been uninstalled, so you just close the control panel, programs and features, and move on to the next step. Now the next step is again to open the run window by pressing the Windows key and R, and then typing percent app data percent, and click enter, or hit enter, and scroll down to the Skype folder, and right click it and click delete and then click yes and now you've deleted the Skype folder in the application data now you want to go into your program files and check to make sure Skype uh, folder and Skype PM folder are gone so you click on your local C disk or whatever your uh, operating system is installed on could be uh, local uh, disk D so first we'll go into program files and look for Skype and there's nothing there and if you're on a 64-bit system you will also want to go into program files x86 and scroll down and look for Skype and there's nothing there either now the last thing you're going to do uh, is click the Windows key and R again to open the run window type reg edit and hit enter now you're going to want to click on edit find and then type in Skype and click find next and it has found audio call skype.com so you're going to want to delete that and then repeat the process again to see if anything else is found and again it found uh, another entry in your registry to do with Skype and you basically just repeat the process until it finds nothing anymore and again you can see that it has found another one that mentions Skype so basically you just repeat this process until you've uh, eliminated all of the registry entries that mention Skype. I should mention that if you do uh, look in your registry and you find one that says Windows Apps if you're on Mac Windows uh, 8 uh, to leave that alone because that is for the app, uh, Skype app, not for the desktop version of Skype. So try not to delete those and uh, you can avoid them by, uh, if you see one, just go find next or press F3 on your keyboard 
and skip until you find uh, one that is related to Windows Desktop, which won't mention Windows apps. And the next uh, two things that you're going to want to do is download Skype for Windows Desktop again. And uh, after you downloaded it and installed Skype for Windows Desktop, you're going to want to drag the folders like the one here, pictures, back into the correct folder, which was percent app data percent backslash Skype and simply drag it back into there and that puts all of your backed up information back into the Skype folder. And that's how you remove Skype completely from Windows desktop.